All right, Neil Giraldo here. Before we get started, I just want to uh, say how honored and thankful we are to be working with the Levitt Dayton Group, uh, the great concerts for free, the support of musicians and community, because that is the truth. If you have a venue that can, you can support music and variations of different genres of music and pull everybody together, it does make for a helpful and better, a peaceful community. Because uh, in the end, we all are the same, and music is the is the catalyst that brings us all together. So uh, we're very thankful and honored to be working with, uh, like I said, the Levitating Group and their concert series. So thank you. Everyone at the record, thanks you. All right, so let's answer some questions here. Let me see what they are. Okay. Why did you create three chord and what was the goal? All right, so uh, let me just start by saying um, I love writing songs, but I write a lot of other things. I'm in the process of writing a couple books. I started a production company for film entertainment about 20 years ago called Bel Chiasso Entertainment. And it, it, uh, inside that company, uh, there's various production um, uh, shows that we're in development with. I also write a lot of uh, episodic uh, type shows. Um, I do uh, I just everything that's in the entertainment business. So I was working on this um, hybrid documentary film and it was a, a, a project that would be an independent film. It wasn't meant to be major studio, which means uh, I wasn't looking for a huge budget. I was looking for a substantial amount of money just to be able to get a trailer made and get a film put in the independent market. So in the process of that, I put a little post on social media. I'll shorten this up. And I says, you know, I may be interested in working with some folks. Anyway, a good friend of mine saw that and says, I'll be help. I'd love to help you. Uh, nine months went by. I was doing other things. I came back around. He called me again. I says, you know what? Now's the time. So we met uh, in Cleveland, Ohio. I think it was, yeah, I think it was Cleveland, Ohio, my hometown. And uh, he said to me, uh, why, don't we, why don't we get a, a, a spirits company to do some uh, angel investing that we can get a trailer made and that we can develop the film from them. And I just looked down and I said, why don't we start our own company? And that was May 12, 2016. And from that day, Three Chord Bourbon was born. It's called Steel Bending Spirits. That was the umbrella name. The, the, the beginning was Steel Bending Spirits. And the product line expressions is Three Chord Bourbon. That's how that goes. So it was born then. So part of the reason it's special to me has to go to my father. And... I was fortunate enough to retire my father, who was a hardworking Italian Sicilian carpenter. I retired him and my mother in 1980, the beginning of 81. Ever since that day, I told him I was going to retire him and give him a pension for the rest of his life. Every time I talked to him, he thanked me every single day. Not one time. Did I call him and he did not thank me? And I said, kept telling Pop, you don't have to do this every day. I, I know, I know, I love you. It's okay. You don't have to say this. But he does anyway. And it was fun. He's a phenomenal man, greatest, greatest man, greatest father. I, I wish everybody had a, a, a family member like him in, in your family because this is the greatest guy. So anyway, he was always um, doing very charitable and nice things for people. And uh, I try to walk in his footsteps. So part of this hybrid idea of documentary was to give um, uh, the looks into some of the musicians that I grew up playing in different bands with and give them a spotlight so they could tell about their stories and, you know, give the, highlight their lives and where they went to uh, and, this, and how their journey has been through music and other parts of their life. So um, with Three Chord, I wanted to have a company that supported musicians uh, was able to work with foundations and able to uh, support in different ways, uh, work together in collaborations and support in the health and well-being um, of musicians and, you know, just to help as, as best as I could. Like I said, in, in the honor of my father, who taught me, you know, try to do nice things, and it makes you feel good. It's like... It's a, everybody wins, right? So anyway, that was the basis behind Three Chord Bourbon. And uh, uh, again, I, I, I say it many times, I got the best band in the spirits industry. I have the greatest team. Everybody in the team understands the model and fundamentals. They're the greatest. 
the men and women that work for Three Chord inside the company, the partners, the Nanula family, everyone. Spectacular. Ari Zussman, one of the greatest whiskey makers in the country, in the world. And a beautiful, sweet guy. I mean, I, I just can't say enough great things about the company. Every single person. So that's that. So that's how that began. Now, uh, what has your music journey meant to you? Well, my music journey meant everything. I usually call it an expedition because when you go on an expedition, you pack some things together and you hope you can make it to the end, right? And every day, you just try to get to the end, right? You just don't want the end coming quicker than you think, right? So uh, without music, I, I, uh, there's no way I'd be able to be, have a, a life at all. I started playing guitar when I was six years old. And um, as soon as I started playing instruments, I piano at 10 years old, drums at 12. Um, I knew that was the only career for me. I, I just, that was it. I loved writing songs early on. I, I loved listening to records. I loved the production, arrangements, uh, work inside of music. Um, it's just without it, I, I don't know where I'd be. I, it, a lot of the stuff I talk about when I have seminars and I talk to various people and young people I like to talk to the most because I like to help them is the idea that not everybody wants to leave their basement or, or that's where I lived in the basement because my bedroom was in the basement. But not everybody wants to leave their bedroom. They're afraid. You know, they got fear. I had a lot of neuroses, many, many. I was sick. Oh, I can't remember the days I wasn't sick. I, excuse me, hardly went to school. It was very difficult for me. Real, real problems. But when I held a guitar in my hand, I was playing piano, playing drums, writing, playing music. I felt, I felt normal. It helped me. So um, that was my expedition. So uh, there's that. And I'll say, why is access to live music experience for all important? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, in the studio, that's where I'm at here. I have, uh, this is so, sort of like a writing suite uh, uh, studio, uh, not the full one. I have another one that's uh, a large room where everybody can play together. This one's more of like overdubs, writing, producing, all that stuff, right? So um, live music is great because it, when you write music, you record music, you're kind of, you want to have a common thread. You want to reach people from the output of that song. But you don't really know what happens unless you, you're in real time. So when you go on the road and you play in front of people, you're able to experience everybody together as a collective to hear the song. If you like the song, enjoy it, feel good, dance, move, sit, talk, whatever, whatever it is that makes you feel good when you're listening to music. And that makes people feel good. It's sort of like, it is like church. It is the church. Live venues are a church for healing and music. And communication, so it's really important. It's really important. The idea that Levitating could can, can uh, present shows that are free uh, uh, is spectacular. So great stuff all the way around. Um, and why should people support venues like Levitt Dayton? Well, I said it in the beginning. It's because it's, it's a spectacular model. Um, you know, give the music so people can have a great time and and they can. Get together. I, you know, I when I woke up this morning, I thought, all of us are so we're all in this together, you know. Everybody, it's just it's we're all the same, right? So, let's enjoy, be good to one another, respect the moment, um, have kindness. Kindness is not weakness. Never let it be felt as a weakness. Kindness is not a weakness, period. And I, I've always. Taught, you know, taught my children that you can be kind, be nice to people, have an opinion. Everybody's allowed to have an opinion. That's great. You don't have to fight somebody because your opinion's different. Have an opinion. It's okay. So people supporting venues like I wish there were more. And and it's just a, it's a great thing. I mean, I love music, everything about it. I love live music. I love studio. I love writing songs. I'm just happy. People are enjoying music out there. So anyway, that's my short end story of, of this and three-chord bourbon and my team, my people, and all you out there. 
uh, thank you. Again, it's an honor. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Be good to one another. See you.